Hi friends, today we are going to read a picture book called No Frogs in School. This book is by A. Le Fay, and I'm going to read to you the book jacket that tells us what the story's about. Bartholomew Botts loves pets and doesn't want to go to school without one. Unfortunately, when Bartholomew brings his new frog to class, his teacher, Mr. Pottenoose, declares, No frogs in school! So what happens when Bartholomew's beloved, hoppy, hairy, and scaly creatures meet up with Mr. Pottenoose's rules? Lots of fun. Wow, there's a lot of animals on this page. Do you think those could all be Bartholomew's pets? Guess we'll have to find out. No frogs in school. Bartholomew Botts loved pets. Hoppy pets, hairy pets, and scaly pets. He loved them all so much that he couldn't go to school without one. On Monday, Bartholomew chose Ferdinand the Frog because he was new to the family. Bartholomew plopped him in his cool pink lunchbox. Here's Ferdinand the Frog. During art, Mr. Potnus taught them how mixing colors made new colors. Bartholomew wondered what made frogs different colors. Just when Bartholomew was about to ask, Ferdinand jumped into Lacey's finger paints. Oh no, do you see the frog jumping into the finger paints? Bartholomew grabbed for Ferdinand, but he slipped off his leg. Oh, here we go, moment. Bling! He landed on Mr. Potnus' head. Mr. Potten has shared a new rule. No frogs in school. On Tuesday, Rick freed the salamander. Looked lonely. He wasn't a frog, so Bartholomew figured Mr. Potten wouldn't mind. He slipped Siegfried into his pocket. Try to see Siegfried with that little black and yellow lizard thing. Salamander. When Bartholomew showed him to Sanford, Siegfried skittered up Sanford's sleeve. Sanford sh 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 to get him out. Bartholomew scrambled to catch the salamander. Siegfried scampered onto a desk and spit to the floor. The other kids started to scream and scramble. Siegfried got nervous. Oh, where is he now? He went woo woo on Mr. Pottenoose's shoe. Mr. Pottenoose shared a new rule no salamanders in school, no frogs, toads, or tadpoles, nothing born in the water that grows up to live on land. Keep your amphibians at home. On Wednesday, Horace the hamster didn't want to go back in his house. He wasn't an amphibian, so Bartholomew put Horace in his bag. Horace hated pockets. Mr. Potnoose liked pockets. He wanted to see inside everyone but Bartholomew. Hmm, I wonder why he wants to look in all his pockets. Maybe he's looking for something. See how popular pockets are? Bartholomew told Horace. But he didn't hear a word. The hamster had wandered off. Time to check our seedlings, said Mr. Potnoose. Bartholomew loved gardening, so he got to the planting box first. See anything strange about the planting box? Maybe there's an animal in there that shouldn't be. Horace got there first. 
He squealed and squirmed and shimmied between the seedlings. Horace got so scared, he scurried back to Bartholomew's pocket. Mr. Potnews added a new rule. No hamsters, no rats, no squirrels, no rodents in school. On Thursday, Sylvia the snake snuggled around Bartholomew's hand. She wasn't an amphibian or a rodent, so Bartholomew said he'd slip her into school with him. Mr. Potnews asked Bartholomew to turn his bag inside out. Bartholomew said he could do the same thing with his top lip. Mr. Potnews didn't want to see it. Mr. Potnews talked to the class about full sentences and periods. Carlos leaned over to Bartholomew and asked, Can you show me the lip thing? Bartholomew did. Carlos laughed. Bartholomew took Sylvia out of her box to show Carlos that snakes have a notch in their lips for their tongue to go through. But Fatima screamed and scared Sylvia. She slithered right up the wall. <gasps> Wow, Raoul pointed. Does it bite? Bartholomew said, No, she snuggles. There's a snake loose in the classroom. What do you think Mr. Potnews is going to say? Is he going to be happy about it? Mr. Potnews came over with dust in his hair and a snake in his hand. He didn't look happy, and he had a new rule. This one was a doozy. No snakes in school. No turtles, no lizards, no cold-blooded animals with scales. No reptiles. He took a deep breath, then said, No amphibians, no rodents, no dogs, no cats, no fish, no more of your pets. Do you promise to remember that, Bartholomew? Yes, Mr. Potnews. Bartholomew was good at following the rules. Mr. Potney said, tomorrow we'll start the day with show and tell. Can we bring anything? asked Fatima. Yes, anything, Mr. Potney stared at Bartholomew. But no more of your pets. Mm. What do you think he's going to bring if he can't bring his pets? On Friday, Bartholomew sat on his bed with Rivka the rabbit in his lap. Bartholomew thought she'd enjoy going to school and meeting all of the students. Too bad about Mr. Potnews' rules. Rivka wasn't an amphibian or a rodent, but she was his pet. Then he had an idea. A happy, happy, can't wait for it to happen idea. He smiled about it. All the way to school. What do you think is his plan? What's his idea? Mr. Potnews didn't look so happy when Bartholomew came into the classroom. What is that? It's Rivka. And she's not my pet. She's everyone's pet. That's a good, good idea. And that's how Rivka came to live in Mr. Potnews' classroom. And no one was happier than Bartholomew, because Bartholomew Potts loved pets. Hoppy pets, hairy pets, scaly pets, and classroom ones, too. The end. It's a fun little book. So, um, I want you to think about, one... Does your classroom have a pet? And if not, would you like it to? And what kind of pet would you want your classroom to have? And two, what's the problem in this story? And how does Bartholomew use his good ideas and his brain 
to solve that problem. All right, have a good day or night or morning or whatever time it is when you're watching this, and I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.